with Ben McGrath, who is the lead environment artist here at Bioware Edmonton on Dragon Age Inquisition. So Ben, let's get things started. What exactly do you do here? Well, I lead the team that creates all of the level art for the game. So Inquisition is being made in Frostbite 3. How has that changed the way you guys work, especially when it comes to environments? So Frostbite 3 has offered us uh, much more advanced rendering capabilities than our previous engine, uh, allowed us to uh, have like a lot of micro detail in the environment. Uh, we've got realistic water, we've got incredibly dense foliage, we've got wide open vistas and much, much greater environments than we've had before, much bigger environments than we've ever been able to do before. How much bigger are we talking? Uh, it's difficult to put an exact uh, number on it, but I would say that any one of our zones is probably comparable in size to either of the previous two games, and we have about 10 of them. How does the world itself help to kind of tell the story of what's happening in Inquisition? We've tried to make it a lot more believable than before, and we've tried to populate it with evidence of the events that have been occurring in the story. But there's a lot of uh, death, destruction, visible in the world. There's a lot of uh, buildings that have been destroyed. There's a lot of evidence of the Mage Templar conflict. We have like plague wagons and uh, corpses everywhere and people fighting. So this time we're going to lots of different locations in Thedas. Uh, how are they kind of different from each other? The world is divided into a lot of different areas populated by different races. What we've done is we've actually created a bunch of different architectural styles. So we have Orlesian style architecture, we have Freldon, we have Dwarven, we have Elven and we have the Tevinter style as well. Uh, they're all very different. On top of that, the uh, different areas have different biomes. So some are arid, some are boreal, and some are temperate. Each area in the game can often be wildly different because it has different flora and fauna and a different architectural style. What was the biggest challenge uh, when you were developing it? Coming up with uh, systemic gameplay um, elements that layer on top of each other and allow for events to occur every 20 or 30 seconds or so in the world is really difficult. Can you talk a little bit about these kind of events going around? We have all kinds of things. We have. Uh, you know, your average skirmishes that go on and we have bandits raiding areas, then we have mages and templars fighting. Um, we have these uh, weird kind of uh, but cool puzzle mechanics like the ancient view skulls um, that you can look through and find hidden stuff. We have like astrariums where you solve uh, logic puzzles, which are cool. Again, they open up hidden dungeons, you can find mounts, um, you can go hunting. Uh, it, it goes on and on. So how, how have you managed to kind of balance the having stuff to do in the open world with sort of trying to keep people on track with the main story. So that's that's exactly where the Inquisition mechanics come in. So everything that you do in the world feeds back into the concept of the Inquisition and this army that you're building. You can claim camps and uh, those give you a small base of operations. You can also claim keeps. And then uh, the decisions you make throughout the story affect what's going on in the world. So depending on what you say or do, you can find Templars roaming the landscape or mages or bandits and so on. Ben, thank you so much for telling me about Dragon Age Inquisition's environments. Uh, for more on the game, make sure you look out for some more of our videos from here at Bioware Edmonton.